Hey yo, it's Mr. O from Music Hands. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your phone into a home recording studio. All you need is the headphones that came with your device, your iPhone, and a download of GarageBand. If you're interested in recording, in songwriting, in composing, in continuing to make music in this lockdown, and you don't have other equipment at home, this video is for you. We're going to look at creating chords, setting the chord types, we're also going to create a simple beat and record our voice as well. Sounds good? Let's jump right in. All right, here we are inside GarageBand. You've been to the App Store, you've clicked the download, you're ready to go. We'll open up a new song. As you use GarageBand on your phone, you'll find some of the icons are a bit small. Take you a bit of time getting used to navigating it. I'm going to go straight to the virtual drummer, going to program a beat for me. If I tap on the down arrow, I get the option of the type of drummer I want. You've got a few to choose from. I'm going to go for hip hop. You might want to do house or something like that. There's loads of other sound packs you can download. And the name of the beat, got a few different ones to choose from. I think I'm going to go for Wheels of Steel. And when I press play, I'll hear the beat. Depending on what type of song you're writing, you'll want to set the tempo. It's a little bit slow for me. Tapped on the gear. It's going to bring it up to about 90, which is the traditional kind of hip hop speed. If you're doing garage or house, you'll want to go faster. Let's have a listen. I'm just going to take the fills off. I don't want any drum fills. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to move on. Tapping on the little Windows icon. and I'm going to add some chords. Let me find my keyboard, smart keyboard, and tapping on the downward arrow to find my sound type. I'm going to go for an electric piano. You're going to likely want to build your own chords. So I'm going to tap here on this little gears icon, and I'm going to move to edit chords. And you can program in your own chords. This is a fantastic feature of GarageBand. I'm going to turn this into C minor, C minor 7, and I'm also going to stick a G in the bass. That'll make it feel good. And I'm just going to make this a G minor. A couple of chords used a lot in hip hop music. Let me play that. Okay, nice and warm. So if I go back to the beginning with this arrow and I press play. Cool. So I'm playing along with my track for speed. I'm going to set my length to four bars. Can you see this tiny, tiny plus arrow in the corner? I'm just going to drop this to four bars. Give me a four bar loop to record. I'm going to hit record and I'm going to play my chords. Okay, pretty cool. I've got my chords in there, tapping on the three little windows and I'm going to add some bass immediately to that. My bass doesn't have to do anything clever. I'm just going to play along with my keyboard track. So I've just hit back to the beginning. Always want to record from the start. Hit the record button, play along. Cool, so I've already got some drums, some keys, and some bass. The way I entered in, double tapping on that instrument, I just tap on the brick wall here, and that takes me to where I can see what I've got in my arrangement so far. Pretty good. I think all I need now is a little bit of lead to finish this off. So I'm going to tap on my little vista, the Windows icon, the three small squares. I'm going to go back to my keyboard. This time tapping on the alchemy synth, and I'll have a load of different synth sounds. The down arrow to bring up my patches. And let's go for a lead sound. Modern R&B should fit in nicely. Maybe a bit sharp that sound. I can quickly modify that sound over here, tapping on the little uh, mixing knob. Try this. Put more delay on it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. OK, 
Okay, let's go with that. Tap that to hide it. And I'm going to press back to the start and record. Okay, and I'm going to tap on my brick wall one more time and I'll slide across at the side and I've got my mixer. I'm quickly going to mix this track. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Tap on my mixer here again. I'm gonna add a little bit more reverb to the lead part. There we go, pushed it back in the mix. Fantastic, so I've got pretty much a basic track there. What I need to do is quickly arrange it. We've got an excellent section called the song section, this tiny plus. I can just turn that back to eight bars and it'll loop what I've got. Cool. And now I'm going to duplicate that section. I'm just going to do that four times. Okay, and tap all sections. Now you can see my song. I don't want my drums to come in straight away, so I'm going to double tap and delete my drums in the first section. Same thing for my lead. Cool. Now I'm at the stage where I want to add some vocals. So all you need is the headphones that came with your device with the, the little microphone attached and you'll be able to record whether you're singing or whether you're rapping on top along with your backing track. So let me tap on this Vista and find my microphone. Cool. I've got my microphone now coming in. I can select monitoring on and you'll be able to hear yourself as you rap or sing along with your track. It's quite a lot of haul on there. Bring that down a bit. Okay, cool. So if I hit record, make sure I'm back at the beginning, I'll have a go dropping a rap for you on the track. If you're a singer, you can sing. If you're an instrumentalist, you can maybe record yourself playing guitar along with it. Let's give it a go. All right, here we go. So in this tutorial, I've shown you how to create a simple track on your iPhone, and this was the... And it went like this, so... First step, hit the download on the App Store, Garage Band 399, you can ask for more. Home studio, iPhone, you set up. Load the app up and track a simple beat. Set the chord tones to something that sounds sweet. Then you're pretty much halfway there. All you gotta do is get fresh, funky, hip hop taste when you add the lead and the bass. So whether you rap or sing, tap on the microphone, get in the zone, whether locked down in your home, still growing. Flowing, showing creativity when you vibe with me. That's music hand. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to press stop. And if I tap back on the brick wall, I'll be able to see my recording along with my track. I can now spend a lot of time adding effects, mixing this, changing the instrumentation, the patches, etc., etc. Have a look back through some of our other videos and you'll learn how to use GarageBand to do some more home production. Hope you've enjoyed this video. All right, there we go. If you've enjoyed this content, you might also like our free course that's now available on our website, six sessions looking at songwriting inside GarageBand. If you've composed something and you've uploaded it to SoundCloud or another file sharing site, drop a link in the description. I'd love to have a listen. Hit that like and the notification and subscribe for more in the weeks ahead. Catch you later. Peace.